Spain's potentially going to be a bit of a tough match for them. Yeah, Spain, Spain also had really good history also, so I think they have... Belgium, they uh, they beat uh, well the Netherlands, who were uh, always yeah they were in the team. Like World Cups and Olympics and stuff like this. So um, they even had uh, the Olympic champion uh, shooting uh, in that Netherlands team. So beat the uh, beat the Netherlands on a shoot off. Mm -hmm. Beat the Slovenians convincingly as well. Uh, unfortunately, lost to Great Britain, who were in the gold medal match six 0 So oh yeah, uh, they take a bit of a battering there, but. Um, on the uh, on the Spanish side of things, they uh, they've won pretty much on shoot offs all the way through. So they've been the semi final, they beat Russia in the shoot off, and uh, in the quarter final, they beat Switzerland in the shoot off. So they can be good and bad. Yeah, I mean it's it's good that they're they're winning the shoot off. It shows they can really handle under pressure and get the last minute. But at the same time, it shows that they're not really being a heavy hitter throughout, yeah. the, throughout the entire match. It's a good point. So um, like I say it'd be interesting to see if it goes down to the shoot off. Um, both these teams have, uh, have won shoot-offs uh, coming into this uh, coming into this medal match, so um, it's going to be an interesting one. Uh, it predicts a fairly close match here. If I were to guess, I think I think Belgium is a slight advantage. Here. I think they're going to end up taking this, but it's anybody's game right now. Yeah. Well, there you go. I mean, you've put the put the advantage on Belgium, and uh, they were the lowest seed. Um, so yeah, I expect a close match here. I like uh, I like how they've all synchronized with their chess cards and everything. Oh yeah, that's. You don't know who's up. I mean, that can really suck out the yeah. other team. They don't, they don't know who, who's up shooting. Uh, the chess guard there is uh, yeah. the chess guard there is basically to uh, to keep the clothing in and um, keep the string to, off. Yeah, basically not to be too graphic. Make sure you don't rip off a nipple, kind of thing. So. Yeah, you don't want that to happen. That's no. <laughs> <laughs> um, but good start from uh, Spain. Hey. Bad start from Spain. <laughs> <laughs> Jinxed him a little bit. Um, uh, as a rule, not to be uh, sexist or anything, but as a rule, the uh, the gents tend to shoot higher scores uh, yep. than the women. So, um, and you'd expect in good weather like this, uh, the gents teams to, to keep everything in the gold. So, um, it's a hard scene. Uh, yeah, reds, reds are not good, but can be recovered from. So, um, yep. uh, but at 26 end, uh, the Belgians have a, an opportunity here to uh, to assert themselves and take a bit of a lead into the second half of the set. Yeah, I think if they keep it in the yellow, they're going to have this this uh, first three arrows yeah. in the bag. Yeah, 50, 54s to 56s, good ends, I think. Uh, yeah, that's what it's been with the women's for a lot. And yeah. it's, that's where the average has been, so I think that's where they need to keep it. Nice. Yeah. 10. He was uh, up and out of that one quickly. He knew where exactly where that one was going. Yeah, it's when, when you feel a good arrow, you just know and you can just walk away just comfortable. Bright string he's got there. Look at how much weight he's got on the tip of his rod. Seven. He had an opportunity and he just threw it away there with a seven. Yeah, it's, he wasn't. He didn't look very confident in that shot. His teammates set him up nicely there for a uh, for a good for a good end. Yeah. For a good three arrows, but he just didn't didn't take advantage of that. Just thrown it away. It is kind of amazing the stabilization, the weight to put on these. You can see he's, he has one on the top too, just to keep everything for keep his forward correct, backwards and left to right, just keep everything kind of balanced in the middle. Is when you're holding that bow out, full arms like in front of you, it it gets it gets un uneven really easily and gets yeah. off balance in no time. Good nines, uh, nine and ten to start this. So uh, Spain have uh, they, uh, they left the door open for Belgium. Belgium decided not to take it, and Spain have uh, to close the door back. Yeah. Well, you had your chance, guys. Now uh, uh, now get out of here. Yeah. So a good ten here, and there's a. Uh, Puts the pressure on, so it's still a nine. Will put pressure on them, though. Yeah. So uh, 54 end. Um, Belgium. Um, they need 10.99 to take at least a point out of this. So yeah, uh, I can I can see tie coming out of this one, but they can keep in the. Ooh, never mind. We well, need some extra tens. Now they need two tens just yep. to even get anything from this uh, from this first set. But he shot a ten the last. His other arrow, so mm -hmm. hopefully he can pull another one out and use that one. He seems we'll dialed in enough, doesn't he? But he's taking his time here. Ooh. Ooh, yeah, I didn't even see this clicker go off. No, you saw him trying, uh, trying, yeah. trying to steer that back, but uh, 
hasn't been able to. So um, this is, this one's going to go to Spain. Start out with yeah. practice area for Belgium. Nice, uh, ooh, beautiful. <laughs> nice. <laughs> a good way to end it, but it's yeah. kind of a waste. You like to think he's uh, dialed in now, though. So um, yeah. I mean, I like the way Spain seems to be set up. They look uniform. They looked. Uh, they look confident. Um, it's just a well-oiled machine. Yeah, well-oiled archery machine. Yeah, Belgium seems to just uh, stand up on the line and just shoot, whereas these guys. But maybe you know, it's just looks. You know, Spain have got their chess guys and all this, and their coaches interacting with them. Yeah, um, they seem a bit more up for it. So it may be that Spain knows that it's going to be a tough. Maybe they work better under that much extra pressure. Yeah. Sometimes, I mean, I've seen it where people have just been shooting ten times better at these kind of matches just because of the pressure. Like, like uh, Patrick. Yeah. Patrick Houston. He he loves the pressure of the game, so it's gonna make him shoot better. Yeah. And the whole Spain team right now looks just. I mean, they're high five, and they were just. I mean, they're. It's. I mean, in the end, you're you're here to have fun. You're here to. Yeah, it's. It's a huge event, but at the end, it's just a matter if you enjoy it or not. So that's the biggest thing. Uh, so, Spain have the advantage going into the second set of this uh, hashtag uh, Every Road to Rio uh, Men's Riga Bronze Match. Um, obviously, the hashtag Every Road to Rio uh, illustrated by uh, UK Sport. Yeah, it's just a, it's an Olympic year, so uh, I guess the idea of that is to uh, to cover every road to Rio, and this being one of them. Oh yeah, it's it being Olympic year, it's going to be a it very curve is really on top, have to be on top of the game. Yeah. It's most important time that, for them. Yeah, I mean even the World Cup uh, stages uh, get um, well, the World Cup season gets taken down a notch uh, yep. just to to make time for the Olympics. So. Uh, but back to the action here, and Belgium probably starting with an eight there. Yeah, I, it's it's a weird angle here. I think George over here said there was an there was an eight. Yeah, and he's uh, George over there. He's got a big fancy scope. Let's yeah, he can he can see everything right up, no problem. So yeah, tens needed. Oh yeah, for sure. It's gonna they need to come back from that too. If they get a, if they get if the Spain gets a four point lead, it's gonna be rough. Yeah, there's a lot there's a lot less uh, room for error for the. Uh, for the men's week of uh, team events. Um, that is a bright string, isn't it? Look yeah, that. that's fluorescent. <laughs> fluorescent, great word. Uh, mm. 998. Maybe the thought is if your string is the same color as the as the 10 ring, you'll hit it more. Yeah, I guess so. I think, I'd, I mean, hey, it's better than nothing. Yeah. Uh, 998, not, probably not good enough. Uh, wasn't Definitely wasn't good enough mm -hmm. last end. No, it was, that's... Seems that they're not really shooting solid right now, but you can see he was leaning quite a little bit in that yeah. shot. He's moving his sight though, so uh, maybe. No. Basically, if someone moves their sight, they they think they've made a good shot. But yep. personally, I didn't think that looked like a good shot. He yeah. tried to push it in and everything. So. Uh, nine. Well, They've got an opportunity to take the uh, take the half, uh, take the lead into the second half of the uh, set, but uh, they had a better opportunity than they're uh, making advantage of. So yeah, they they could be doing a lot better and could be making it a lot tougher for Belgium. But looks Fif like 50 50 chance whether this is good or not. Uh, even 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 even. So uh, I did predict a close uh, close match between these two, but Belgium needs to step up now and yeah, they uh, need to join the party essentially. So oh, yeah. Time to hit some tens, boys. Nine. Still, it's nines are not bad. I think if they were, to, if they can keep it all in the gold, then it's gonna be, it's gonna be one of those tied types of games. Seems like everybody, when your men's recurve is gonna be in the yellow in the gold match. Yeah. He's taking his time. Yeah. Yeah. It seems like he's, he's really holding this time. Long, much. Last time he took that long, he took a six, seven. Seven. Yep. So uh, that's going to be hard to recover from. He, he seems to be throwing it away a little bit. Last, especially the last step of this six. Um, a seven there. Needs to be a ten. Ten. Uh, good. Just caught the line probably at the bottom there. 52. So uh, if Spain have another 26 end, then this is tied up. But um, like we were explaining, 26 seems to be fairly average. Uh, yeah, I think so that. got an opportunity again. I think if they can just pull out a couple more nines. Two nines and a ten, even, and then it's going to be. That's one of them. Yeah, nine, nine, nine. 
wins the set, doesn't it? So. It does. Uh, if they can keep in the yellow, then they're going to be all set. And I think they know it, and they're confident right now. You can just see it on him. He's He knows what he has to hit, and he's ready to go. Seems happy. Nine. Nine. Yep. Right, so uh, staring at, and then, well, yeah, anywhere in the gold, and they've taken the second set. So, and uh, my prediction of a close match is uh, maybe further and further away with each arrow. Yeah, I, I feel like whatever I predict is the opposite, so maybe I should yeah. stop predicting stuff. <laughs> Ooh. 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 We're going to have to wait for confirmation on that one. That's a tough one. It's going to be close. Uh, yeah, it could be a tight. Uh, the entire score there, so that would uh, the whole the whole set's based off that one arrow, pretty much. So yeah. it's gonna be it's gonna be a tough one. Uh, yeah, so assuming that's an eight, and uh, that'll make it three one. We'll wait for final confirmation on that, but it'll be uh, it's likely to be that uh, George with his uh, big fancy scopes calling it an eight. So if he calls an eight, most of the time it's gonna be an eight. Yeah. But when the judge goes up there, there's a little magnifying glass. And uh, yeah, the. Uh, Spain had an opportunity there, but uh, they've thrown it away. <laughs> He's trying to bring the crowd into play there. Yeah. It didn't quite go to plan. But, uh, he tries to try to put some crowd in, but the good thing about the uh, the sort of British public is that everyone likes uh, likes an underdog. So uh, I'm yeah, going to yeah. say that people are behind Belgium right now. Um, Three one, and they're going to have to come from behind, obviously, to uh, to take this. Um, if uh, if Spain win this set, then the worst case scenario is that they have a shoot off. So uh, yeah. uh, the third set is always uh, is always an important one in these set systems. So uh, vital uh, vital uh, end here. So if Belgium they need to win it to tie up the match. Spain need to win it to guarantee themselves at least a shoot off and put yep. themselves in a really uh, strong position. So yeah, it's gonna it's I think now that it's really starting to get down to the wire, they're gonna start honing in their arrows and hopefully Belgium will be able to get rid of those few stray arrows they've been having. They just need to, they just need to get rid of the, uh, the bad arrows, don't they? Yep. I mean, it's, uh, it's that middle, uh, the middle archer seems to be shooting six, well, it's shooting six and seven. Yeah, six so and seven. Which is, uh, it's just not good enough. No, uh, not at all. And it's, but it has warmed up a little bit. Looks like it, the wind's died down just a hair, so it's going to be a little easier for them to hit the center. Yeah. And it's, it looks like everyone's all dialed and ready to go. And, and actually, it looks like all of their, all the Spain, all their bows have the exact same stabilization on them, even with the extra top yeah, stabilization in the front. So it looks like they're all pretty much shooting the same way. So they, they are quite a uniform team. Yeah. They might, well, they're, obviously they're just gonna be practicing together day in day out, and uh, but yeah, that's pretty interesting, isn't it? Normally yeah. you'd see that um, normally you don't have their own sort of setup, or their own feel, but they I look mean, almost all the same. I mean the. Even where, even to where the the dampener is, so you can see the little bulge at the tip yep. of his rod there, the black bulge. Yep. That's a dampener. And even there, in the same place. Um, yeah, it's it, they're all. It's in, it's like said before. Most of the time, archers they'll have their own special setup. They like a little more here, a little more there. Mm -hmm. But they all seem pretty darn close. Yeah. Keeping everything in the gold. Yeah. Yep. This is what they need to do. In the gold. Really gonna put pressure on Belgium. I do believe we got the math wrong there. I think Belgium actually took that set. Oh, all Didn't right. Didn't notice that. Um, well, we're all even there. So uh, sorry, uh, everyone at home, we missed that. Um, it's all square. So um, it's really anybody's game now. Yeah, I mean that's the difference that these line cutters can make. Obviously, there were uh, some close ones that we didn't uh, we didn't quite pick up on. Yep. Um, or we called them wrong and uh, expected it to be a tied score. But uh, yeah, sorry about that. Uh, Spain with their three nines, uh, twenty-seven, average, uh, average to good uh, s start to the set there. So um, hopefully, yeah, hopefully he can pull in this, his arrows right now and get that nine or ten in there because he shot a ten the first arrow. Yeah, he did. Yeah. So he looked at something happened between now and then to really push that away. He's just taking his time, isn't he? Yeah, he really is. I think that's what's killing him. Is just he's holding weight. Oh, maybe not. Yeah. I just feel like it's a long time to hold. Oh, here comes Mr. Fluorescent here. Yeah. Be able to flag down a plane with those strings. <laughs> uh, but uh, a ten to take the half. Uh, take a lead into the second half. Uh, Ooh, an eight. eight. I just hate it when they they do this. You know, uh, they just it's so close. Yeah, the Belgian team seems to be just having opportunities and just throwing them away with eights, sevens, and sixes. So, um, 
Yeah, they just need to dial it in and just just get the just round it up to the or keep it in the yellow. Yeah. Seems like Spain's not having that problem. They're keeping it. Yeah, good yeah. set. Ten right there. Yeah, I mean, they. I mean, Spain. There, you can see they've missed the yellow maybe two or three times, and um, that's what you need to be doing. Yep. Um, I mean, we've noticed that from all the winners so far uh, of the day. It's, they just keep it in the yellow. You know the odd the odd flyer, but you know they'll pick up some tens as well. Ooh, first flyer! <laughs> yeah, looks like you spoke a little too soon. I need soon. to stop talking. I'm going to turn my mic off right now. <laughs> but uh, yeah, first flyer. So a uh, bit of pressure on uh, Spain. Yeah. Hopefully, hopefully you can just throw in a ten right here and just hope that Belgium does not keep up with what they that's what they have going on. Wow, it's an eight. eight. Big opportunity here. Yeah, this is um, leave, it up, leave it quite a bit open. They need to shoot a well, shoot yeah. twenty-five to. Uh, cut even. Yeah. So in um, Belgium, they uh, they had a 26 for their first half, which we 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 are denoting uh, fairly average. Uh, so an average three hours here, and they they can take it. So a nine. Yep. Um, this is the this is the clinching hour here. I mean, um, he hasn't shown much consistency. So mm -hmm. he's good. He shot a 10. He shot a six. He shot a seven. So um, we need a nice consistent shot here. Keep this in the gold and uh, Belgium. Have Probably taking this set. It's taking yeah, his he, time again. He's really holding for a long time, and that's the coverage pause there somehow. Ooh, nine. Nine. Okay, good. Maybe he just shoots long. Yeah, Maybe yeah. Time. Everybody's different. I yeah. mean, it just does seem like quite a long time compared to his teammates. Yeah. Or fluorescent here keeps it. Nice Eight. And clear. Or more, and it's a nine. Perfect. So uh, they're coming from behind here. Yeah? Uh, they uh, they lost the first set, and uh, they've taken the second, the second and the third, and they're now four two ahead. Um, obviously, they just need one well, more. Yeah, one more, and they've won. So we uh, we did say that the third end is always uh, an important end. Um, it's it's swayed the uh, the advantage in Belgium's favour. So um, like I say, like I said, there Belgium need. Uh, they win this set. They uh, they win the uh, they win the bronze. Yes, I haven't we haven't seen any ties yet in any of these matches. No. It shows that everyone's either they're either shooting well or not shooting well. So I mean, it's it's yeah. Most of the time you see at least a couple tied tied sets in these matches, but it's yeah we, we haven't seen much of that at all, have we? So uh, yeah, no, we haven't haven't seen one. So um, I did uh, expect a closer match here, but. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if we see this go to a shoot-off. I, uh, I may be uh, a bit premature in my uh, my call there, but um, I know it's 4-2 Belgium, but uh, I can see Spain coming back here and uh, getting a shoot-off. So um, they, they look high fives, fist bumps all around, so they're not letting it get to them at all. They're confident with what they got going on. Spain, uh, Spain take this one. They'll take it into a, a, a final set decider. If that's a draw, it goes to a shoot-off. So important set here for, uh, for Spain. They almost have to win this one. If they tie it, they still got an opportunity. But it's going to be tough. It's going to be. A, it's going to have. They're going to have to take this one to yeah, really definitely. get back. As the bells chime. It's 12 o'clock. We had 12 dongs now. Wait for <laughs> Alright, here we go. Yeah, let, let, let the, oh, there's one. <laughs> I don't know if that actually affects them any if they if they almost see if they can sync their um, uh, shot to the bell. It's a bit like a metronome. I, yeah. I know some Rico matches like training to uh, to a metronome. Eight. Right? Ooh, eight. Um, yeah, eight. He looked to stand on the line, set himself nicely, and uh, but just uh, didn't follow through. Any good shot there. Seem to have a lot more time on the line than the, uh, the Belgians. Yeah, they spend a lot more time. Seems happy. Eight. 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 This isn't good enough from Spain so far. Uh, they, they're going to have to expect uh, a mistake or two from Belgium to uh, to really make sure that they win this. Yeah, to really secure a victory. But it's we're going to need we're going to need ten here. I mean, it's a bit quick. Ten. 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 Nice X. Yeah. So yeah, there is an inner, inner uh, well, scoring zone inside that 10. It's, a, it's an X. It's still a 10, but it's just a special It's a center. 10. Yeah, <laughs> it's, a, it's a 10 of the star on it. Yeah. Uh, so 26, fairly average scoring. Yeah. Uh, Belgium got an opportunity here. Yeah. Could take this, uh, take this bronze medal. An important uh, arrow for the big guy here. Yeah. Shown some uh, lack of consistency, but uh, his last two arrows, good two nines. Yeah, they've been 
Drew Cell 9 is still holding so long. Yeah. Just, just needs to go now. Yeah. It's taking way too long, way longer than it usually takes him. Oh, seven. seven, yeah. You could tell that he was getting tired and he just. He does love just throwing it away for his teammates. Yeah. A bit, doesn't he? he does. I mean, I mean it's, it's hard. It's yeah. in front of all these people, in front of all this. It makes it tough. Ten. 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 Good. Well, they needed that 10, so they've tied up the halfway through. So um, Spain need three good arrows here. They really, you know, to put the pressure on Belgium to shoot their three more good arrows. Yeah. To they need a couple of nines and at least a 10, at least one 10, I'd say. So keep everything in the gold, pick up a 10, and they can really throw it back to Belgium with a nine. Good nine. Yep. It's a little strong, probably. Uh, that happens when you shoot a strong arrow. It tends to go yep. a little high, but... Uh, yeah, I mean it's better than being in the in the red. Oh, of course, yeah. <laughs> Seems focused. A little, a little quick. It's still oh, nine. So, what are we gonna say if he gets a nine? Do they take the set or not? Uh, I'm not gonna say because that um, the one guy in the Belgian team who keeps throwing arrows away. I mean, he's he can come out of nowhere with a ten. I mean, it's, we've seen it before, so. He shot a good X last end. Yeah. Uh, last hour, a good 10. So an X and a 10 from yeah. him. Uh, 54 is, a, is on the higher side of the average of what we've seen yeah. for these archers. So it's going to be, it's not going to be easy for Belgium to pull even tie on this one. But we can see. They just need a couple 10s. Well, well, that's it. Yep, Straight away, it's uh, gone. Um, so we're tied up. We're gonna, we are definitely going to be going into a deciding uh, deciding set. A uh, couple of practice hours. He just needs to get this off quicker. Yeah, he just it's too much for him. He, I think he's just feeling the pressure of the crowd and feeling the pressure of the venue and just not not as experienced in this. Uh, that that does happen, doesn't it? You know when you when you're under pressure, you um, you get a bit nervous. You tighten up a little bit. To yeah, see you what's happening. To you're not thinking about your shot. You're thinking about who's watching. You're thinking about is your team watching you? Is the camera watching you? Who's wa I mean, they can actually see themselves on the big screen as they're shooting. Yeah. They look over just a hair. So, watching yourself shoot on that huge screen, I'd freeze up. <laughs> it is awkward. I remember um, I shot in the Commonwealth Games, and uh, it was the first time I've seen myself shoot uh, on a big screen. And being left handed, the screen was over on that side as well. And <laughs> it's really, uh, really awkward. So, um, yeah, so we're going into a deciding, uh, deciding set here. Yeah. It's gonna be, it's it's gonna be a. Um, this is really the one that we have to look for. Coaches really on the uh, Spain team really giving them a pep talk. Yeah. A little shoulder rub. I think it's it's this is the one. This is where it's really gonna matter. We haven't seen any ties yet in any of these sets, so I don't expect one right now. So. Oh, that's true. Who uh, who's taking this then? You think I? I think it's still me Belgium. Yeah. I think Belgium still got this one. They have, they have the loose cannon. The one guy who's has some trouble keeping it in. But once when he does get it, he's set though. It's either going to be a ten or a seven. No seven, yeah. So that's it's a good point. There's no, but there's no, there's not much in between for him. So. Yeah. Spain, uh, Spain shot that ten, ten, uh, also ten nine nine at the back end of that uh, that set there. And they, uh, they were really under pressure and came through the good. Uh, Good uh, final uh, three hours. So, yeah, Spain does look a little more loose, though. They look more more comfortable. They've been in, these, in this condition or this. Uh, they've been here before. Belgium does not look as comfortable, but I've just got to cheer. For, I've just got to cheer for Belgium. But the, uh, the judge uh, just going through the uh, the rules of the shoot off that we're uh, we're about to go into here. So uh, you'll see that Spain will shoot first, then the Belgians will shoot, and then Spain, and Belgium, Spain, Belgium. Yep. Um, if they uh, if they tie this, then it goes down to the uh, the closest arrow to the middle, and they have tied on the they have three arrows uh, quite consistently on the 26, 27. So uh, it could be uh, I predicted a close match, and this is oh, it's uh, be very close. close. Let's see what Span can do here. He usually shoots quicker than this. He does. Ooh, eight eight points uh, called by George there. So it's uh, that is just outside the gold. Uh, Opens up a little bit for uh, Belgium. Mm -hmm. He seems like he's been a consistent shot. He he's always in the nine or ten he ring. So been, yeah, you're right there. So we can expect a decent shot right here. Ten, two point lead for the Belgians. Your prediction is coming through here yeah, a little bit, isn't it? So far, so good. So far, Belgium's taking it, but it's it's anyone's game still. 
The middle Belgian really needs to uh, the, dial his Yeah, in. this guy coming up next, he's going to need to really dial it in for his team. That's where he's going to be the deciding factor. Seems happy, good timing, mm -hmm. nine high. It's, yeah, they're shooting a little high right now. I'm not sure what that's all about, but this is right here is where it's going to really... I think he knows it, too. He knows he's pressure on him. Yeah. The, uh, his teammate behind uh, just seems to be talking him through it a little bit. Time to go. Time to go. You can just see his long arm starting to shake a little bit more. Oh. You know? Eight. That's going to be tough. Uh, I mean, they're still ahead, but it's... Um, all one-point lead. That's not yeah. much. It takes just one more mess up. What Spain gets a 10. 10 here from Spain. Uh, they've really piled it on, so... Interesting. Uh, Three seems seven. happy. An eight. Ooh, an eight. I keep saying that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Twenty-five. Very, very low. Um, an eight here, and they've uh, they've won. I wonder if Fluorescent is feeling the feeling the pressure. I think he shot fairly well. I don't think he oh, shot yeah, he's anything worse great. than an eight. So uh, confidence. Yes. Ten. Oh, oh, Belgians oh, have gone oh, absolutely oh, mental. So uh, yeah. fantastic for them. Uh, they've uh, they've been winning. Taking out big dogs uh, throughout this uh, whole tournament, so uh, yeah. Belgium taking their bronze there. It's it's good for them. It's they're, they're up and coming. It doesn't seem like they've been on the um, middle map too much. They haven't really been out in their stage too much at all. But it's good letting them letting them come up here and take their first one. Yeah.